You know that little light you get from the very start in Bunder? That one right there? Get rid of it right now. Delete it, I challenge you before even the default queue. Because once it's gone, in under 5 minutes, you'll learn how to take your lighting from this to this. Let's dive in. So throughout your life, you've probably seen some complicated looking lighting setups like this, usually used in photography. They have all of these complexities that would take me a long time to understand. But there is one setup that basically anyone can understand. The three-point lighting system, which is surprisingly easy to make in Blender. Basically, you have your subject and three lights. The first one is the main light. It's really strong and illuminates most of the object. The second one is the fill light, and this gets rid of things like sharp shadows. And finally, the third light is the backlight. This can create a halo around the subject, separating it or them from the background. Here's a comparison of the dreaded default light and the three-point lighting system. But before you go and try this in Blender and end up with something like this, let me quickly explain how to do it. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, let me know in the comments. I usually use a spotlight as my main light and I point it at the subject from a little bit to the side. This light should have at least twice the power of the other two lights. For the fill light, I use a regular old point, but I turn up the radius to make it softer, and I put it to the opposite side of the subject that the main light is on. For the backlight, I use another point light, crank up the radius, and make the power even lower. If you want more of a halo, you can turn up the power, but it's a personal preference. It can take some experimentation, but you should end up with something like this. Now, because I still have time, I know all your projects aren't just a single object or subject. You might have outdoor scenes or scenes with a view outdoors. And if you've been using this abomination to light them, well, stop, because there's a much better option. HDRIs. An HDRI is a 360 degree view image that gets wrapped around your scene. Blender does come with a built-in HDRI sky thing, but I prefer using regular HDRIs because they usually have better results. And what makes an HDRI so good is that it has variable lighting. Instead of just a single light source, you get a photoreal image of a landscape with different colors and different brightnesses. And the best part? There's a great free place to download them, Polyhaven. Head on over there, go down to HDRIs, and find one you like. Once you've downloaded it, you should have a .exr file. Go back to Blender and click this little red globe. There, find the yellow dot, click it, and find Environment Texture. Select that, open your EXR, and now your scene's lighting should go from this to this. I thought this would take way longer than 5 minutes, but you know what wouldn't take longer than 5 seconds? Hitting that subscribe button down there and leaving a like on the video. Happy lighting!